Nag-viral po ito sa social media and marami pong nagtag sa atin nito idol. Kasama po ngayon ni Yeda Pascual, ito pong si Tatay Jesse Sian Carberry. Base po sa viral photo idol, ito daw po ay pagalagala dahil sila po ay inabando na ng kanyang asawa. Si Jesse Sean Carberry ay isang American citizen from Pennsylvania, okay. USA. Tinag tayo ng maraming netizen at natuntunan natin itong si uh, Jesse. So isa pong ka-concerned citizen yung tumulong na patuloyin muna sila pansamantala sa kanilang tahanan. So tara, pasok na po. Hi! Hello! Good morning, Sir Jesse. Hi, Kasaya! Hello! Sir, do you have any idea why I am here? Yes, ma'am. I have a basic idea um, about my daughter and my situation. Yes, po. And about the statements of her mother on social media and the different statements of quite a lot of people on social media. A lot of um, people, concerned citizens, use the hashtag Rafi Tool for an action and it finally caught the attention of Idol Rafi. And now, he sent me here, um, of course, to find you and your daughter. May I know, sir, what's the reason that you're roaming on the streets of Ermita, Manila? We're not living on the streets. The woman who originally posted that, posted the first few pictures, mm -hmm. she was angry a little bit. She might not have fully understood everything I was saying. I told her we had an apartment in Bulacan and that we had an appointment at the immigration office the next morning. Mm -hmm. But I believe she might have been gotten mistranslation because I speak English rather quickly. But the other part was she wanted us to rent a room at a place that she worked. And I went there, it took us an hour to find it after we left her. She took the pictures before we left her, so I asked her not to post anything on social media. Two hours later, I got a message saying, Jesse, you're going viral. That's when I found out. So to clarify things, you're not yeah. living on the street? No. In that envelope in right Armita? there, okay. I have a, a contract on an apartment, which I've already talked to the landlady. She's, she's willing to let us move out. But the thing is, we've been there since July. Okay. It's according to what she told Miss Anne, in her own words, she told Miss Anne, Jesse always pays his rent on time. He's one of my best tenants. Okay. We were not homeless. I never said that. Um, we got stuck there because the pension house we went to initially was under construction. The sign light was turned off and the gate was broken. So I didn't, they were closed, you know, Sorado. So we got stuck on Mabini Street. That's what happened. Okay. Sir, what made you decide to live here in the Philippines? I first came to the Philippines because I thought that there was a possibility of uh, a relationship working. You had a wife, sir? Kizia's mother and I met through Facebook. She originally told me that she was a Christian. She told me a whole lot of things. I found out that they were not true um, the hard way. I would not suggest Facebook relationship to anyone. In uh, summer of 2014, Kizia's mother told me that if I did not come quickly, and things were off. So I came. I was here by November of 2014. We had been in contact since I believe May of 2014 before I came. The first night we met, it went from there. She became pregnant. We were married in January of 2015. After the marriage, everything changed. So how was your relationship with her? Up until the marriage, it wasn't that bad. It was odd. Within two weeks after we got married was the first time she tried to strangle me uh, while I was asleep. Um, I woke up to her on my chest with her right arm on my throat, pressing down, and her hand pushing down, sitting across my chest. And then I woke up a second night in that same time period, about a week later, with her both hands around my neck. That was before I went back to the United States. She was already pregnant with our daughter. Before the pregnancy with Keisha, she got violent a little bit, but I thought it was because she had had trust issues from being with a, fr a French guy that supposedly had done her wrong. So I kept thinking I have to give her another chance. When I finally w decided to go through with the DSWD actions and the doctor, the doctor's statement was, this is a pre-existing condition. So what's her diagnosis, sir? That multiple personality disorder diagnosis was done in March of 2016. Mm -hmm. That might be dealt with through medication, but she refused. How long you've been living here in the Philippines? Four years. So, sir, um, let's go on the lighter side yes, of your stay here in the Philippines. So, do you like our culture? 
Yes, I've enjoyed a lot of the things I've learned in the Philippines. Like? And my daughter and I, uh, she loves the ocean. She calls it Dagat, bye bye. She loves the ocean. She loves the nature. We both are outdoors people. You know, my daughter and I both love being outdoors. How about the people here in the Philippines? The past few years, it's gotten rather bad. Um, I filed two presidential complaint reports. First one, December 2017. Second one, December or November 2018. There was a very bad incident at a place we were living. And after that incident, I ended up being falsely portrayed. And that those false portrayals have traveled from every barangay we have lived in since. As soon as the Panini Rangpuri at Sinungaling gets involved, Chismoso, Chismosa, you know, Dami uh, Chismis, that's when things get very difficult. When there's a clear understanding that not every American is a poop, you know, sila po yung grupo na tumulong dito sa uh, mag-amang foreigner na si Sir Jesse nga, pati yung daughter niya. Pare-pareho sila ng intensyon ano, na tumulong dito sa mag-amang ito. Kung mapapansin nyo po, hindi po kami mismo yung nag-post ng pictures. Uh, it went viral kasi. Pero nevertheless, ang kagandahan po nito ay natap namin yung inyong programa kung saan matutulungan yung mag-ama. Let's make this country a better place. We just saw the post, uh, got viral on Facebook, then my wife told me that uh, we should help. But actually that time I was thinking like, we don't have much money, like how, uh, how we are going to help? Then suddenly she told me, uh, let's uh, go to Manila. The only thing we can offer him, he can stay with us until like all, all the problems will be okay. So, maraming maraming salamat po dahil nakatulong tayo sa ating kapwa. Yeah. Thank you very much. And to all those out there who, who sent the kind, showed kindness through their messages on Facebook and uh, all of the different people who offered a place to stay and all of that. Thank you for the genuine kindness and thank you for the concern and the different ways that many people have shown that. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Idol Rafi! We're finally here now in the hotel where you can finally rest. Idol Rafi promised to help you all throughout. I'm thankful to uh, hopefully be moving in a productive direction. So are you happy now, sir? I, yeah, thank you. Good morning, baby! You're so pretty! So are you ready, sir? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, so let's go now, baby! Ngayon, mamimili na tayo ng mga damit nila na gagamitin nila pang araw-araw kasi nga nasabi din ng tumulong sa kanila, wala silang kahit na anong adaladala pang damit. So tara na, pasok na tayo. keeping record of anything she might be wearing. I'm not documenting what she might be wearing. I'm not a fake. I'm not a two-faced person. I'm not a hypocrite. You take that picture, I will walk. Alright. Ano tayo yung problema, Sherry? Kung kung doon kay Sir Jesse na si tinatulungan, binilian siya ng sobra-sobra pagkain ni itong si Edna at yung kanyang anak. At para sa kanya, militaw na parang matakaw siya. Pati ako nasigawan.
call a child, quote, my baby, unquote, that's a term of possession. You have said it to her last night in the car here as we were traveling. These things are very disturbing. Ma'am, maybe you had good intentions, but I think perhaps the att attention of all of this might have gotten you a little like overexcited because right now it's kind of scaring me. It feels like you have some type of motivation to get the attention. And I don't know, maybe your, your life is boring. Maybe you don't feel that enough people Sorry, have recognized you. you said you. my life is boring? No, no, maybe, maybe. Shut up, maybe. you're gonna listen to me. You're getting into my nerves. You don't know what's happening, Jesse. You I said are your ungrateful. Exact words. Sexy there are so words. many people Sex who wants to, to help you and my you are ungrateful. You're telling me that my life that. is boring? Well, I don't know. Jesse! I no it it just you came out of your mouth. The camera is I rolling. You can listen to the recording. It's don't right to tell to someone who's been helping you since day one. Yes. We are here because the nation wants to help you but and you are ungrateful. When I told your daughter that she is sexy and she is my baby, don't you feel gratitude that someone would like to take care of your baby and please be thankful enough you know what we are here to help you but look what you're giving us I came away from uh, seven kilometers paid my own ride just to see if you were okay and your daughter and now you're telling me my life is boring no, how ungrateful maybe you are that's maybe the that's the reason why the nation maybe. doesn't want you that, did you call my daughter sexy did you yes or no it, it, it's, a, it, it's yes about no. how you perceive yes things no. you it's just so ha you well not. you need why to see a psychiatrist I, I don't why want to talk to you right answer? now mm, I'm or done no. I'm done did you don't you deserve the child baby. let's just stop this because you're saying nonsense. No, I didn't deserve to be yes from no, Mandaluyong please. going here just yes. to hear yes. that my life is yes boring. No, I, I have two kids, Jesse. Yes I have no, my no, own please. life. I but I share my spare time with you. you spend it. I so even much. take an off just to see you boring. there.